situational football, you know, yeah, no doubt. Get, getting into the right right plays, you know, how has that been going for you? Good. Uh, a lot of talks are on efficiency right now, um, just trying to get in the most efficient play uh, that we can. And um, we're having a lot of good talks and, and working yes. through it, and spring's a good time to work on it. What goes into that from your perspective? Um, I think the biggest thing is just like I said, efficient plays. Like the highest percentage plays that uh, we can get in, the, b the best play for the situation down in distance. Um, you know, uh, we just have those talks and, and try and get into the highest percentage play we can. That's something you always want to do. So, what kind of spurred that conversation? Just to look based off of last year? Our third down efficiency, we wanted to be better. Um, there were some situations where you know, that we could have had a better play on or could have had a, a better mindset going into the third down uh, than we did. And, we and uh, you know, it's miserable tape to watch. Uh, we've watched the past couple of days because you're watching all the failures on, on third down. Um, but it's good tape to watch. You say, what could we have done different? Um, and we've kind of picked, picked that up and, uh, you know, taken and tried to get into more, more efficient plays and become more efficient on, on third down especially. You have some new weapons to throw to, Giovanni, you know, TJ. What have you seen out of those guys? Think uh, they can help you? Yeah, absolutely. I love the way they're coming along. Um, they're uh, hard workers and they're uh, really talented guys, you know, and they've, they've jumped on board and uh, got some time to, uh, you know, keep developing with them and, and look forward to them uh, joining us. Tight end is something that's not been used here heavily in the past. How does that change if you kind of want to utilize that more? Let's see. Um, <laughs> You know, I think now we have some uh, bigger bodies, some more tight ends. We'll probably do some more stuff with them. Um, we've got some talented guys. You know, Wesco, is a, he's, he's big and he uh, moves pretty well, uh, has good hands. Um, so I'd expect to see some more of them, more tight end stuff this year. You'll obviously take the, the big plays where you can get them, but it looks like you guys are also trying to be a little more methodical this year as opposed to just big play or not much at all offensively. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that speaks back to the high percentage plays. Just, you know, instead of throwing the ball deep every play, maybe take a higher efficiency uh, throw. Um, you know, like, like I said, that's that's really the talk right now. Um, we, we kind of, that's our focus right now is just higher percentages. How much more do you have to trust the run game? Um, you know, I don't think it's necessarily about trust and more about getting into the right run play um, against the right looks and making sure as a unit up front we're on the same page. Because um, I, I don't think it, it, a good offensive line is more on the same page than it is just raw talent. Uh, I think you can have five really good offensive linemen and if they're not on the same page, it doesn't really matter. Whereas you can have five guys who maybe aren't uh, the most talented guys in the country, but if they're on the same page, you've got an efficient offensive line. Um, and that's what we're looking for, um, being on the same page, getting in the right run play. Um, and that makes that more high percentage, which, like I said, is kind of our focus right now. When you went back and watched yourself last year, what was your biggest critique? What did you want to do? Efficiency. Um, I know I'm, I'm harping on that, but that's that's what's been on our mind the past couple of weeks. Uh, it's just getting in high percentage plays, taking, uh, you know, like I said, I, I need to know better. Uh, me and Spad need to be more on the same page and uh, down in distance and getting into you know efficient plays rather than just trying to take a shot every play. Um, I think that was that's probably my biggest critique. So. Is it hard to balance that though? Because obviously one of your strengths is kind of making things happen. Like yeah, no doubt. I mean, we we still we don't want to take that away from our offense. We're an explosive offense. We 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 can make big plays. Um, and we're, we're not necessarily taking that away as much as just trying to be more efficient um, in certain situations and still have the ability to take shots. And, and like I said, uh, there's big play. We have big play uh, potential and, and a, a lot of talent on, on our uh, explosive talent on our offense. So uh, trying to find a balance and, and be efficient, but also be explosive is kind of what we're Thanks, Will.